Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome to our 22nd day of our month of mods. And today we're talking about our first Empire Total War mod. And quite frankly, I found that the Empire, Napoleon, and Shogun Total War mods have been nowhere near as good as the ones for Rome and Medieval. And there's a wide variety of explanations for that, and that's why you haven't really seen many Empire, Shogun, or Napoleon Total War mods on this list. But that changes now, with a mod for Empire Total War that I thought was really great, focusing in on the American Civil War. And, well, that's the name of the mod, American Civil War, or American Civil War, the blue and the gray, or American Civil War, North vs. South, or American Civil War, Brothers vs. Brothers. And honestly, this is a mod I remember checking out back when Empire Total War had just come out. And at the time, it was very clear that it was a work in progress and needed a lot of tweaking. But American Civil War has come a long way since then, and I'm happy to say that it's a very fully featured and well done mod. Which I think is great, because the American Civil War is a war which could fit very well into the Total War engine. But sadly, Creative Assembly hasn't done anything about it, so it falls to modders. And I've always wanted more good Civil War strategy games. Because honestly, being a Canadian, it's a war I don't know that much about. It wasn't something that was really taught to us in school, and I haven't had the opportunity to go and seek out a lot of thorough information on my own about this war. And to be honest, I don't understand why they don't teach us more about the American Civil War in Canadian schools. Because if you'll allow me a brief historical discretion, Canada gained its independence very soon after the American Civil War. And when writing our constitution, we took a lot of lessons from that period. Well, we really just asked ourselves, man, how can we avoid that here? And it helped create a vastly different approach to federalism here in Canada than in America. For example, the American Constitution has the Tenth Amendment, which dictates that all powers not specifically set out by the federal government are given to the states. And when it came to the Canadian founding documents, we took the framework from the Tenth Amendment and just reversed it. Meaning that all powers not dictated to the provinces are held by the federal government here in Canada. Sorry, I just love this kind of stuff. Anyway, we'll talk a little bit more about the mod now. The modders have had to considerably tweak the Empire at War engine in order to bring the Civil War to life, considering the Civil War happens about 170 years from the start point of Empire at War. So to reflect the technological advances of things like rifled muskets, soldiers now have far greater accuracy and range with their muskets. And of course, let's not neglect the more powerful cannons and howitzers. And if you're playing on the Union side, you'll get access to the powerful Gatling guns. And before I neglect to mention, there's a pretty wide variety of different unit types. Far more than I would expect in a Civil War game, and far more than the vanilla version of Empire Total War. Also, the skins look really fantastic and really authentic in this game, which is a huge plus in my books. So when it comes to the campaign map itself though, they haven't done much changes. Besides of course changing which settlement belongs to who and where. However, there are two versions of American Civil War in the mod. One which takes place on the vanilla North American map of Empire Total War, and one which takes place on the Warpath map, which was a DLC slash expansion pack for Empire Total War. In any case, you need to have Warpath in order to play the Warpath version of American Civil War. However, if you do have it, I recommend it because the map is much better than the vanilla version. They've also changed a couple things around on the campaign map, most noticeably that it takes more time for armies to get from point A to point B. So all in all, American Civil War is a pretty good mod, mainly because it fills a niche, or a niche, whatever you want to say, in the Total War frame, because the Civil War so obviously needs a Total War game. But for now, we have American Civil War. And that's more than enough to tide me over until a point when and if Creative Assembly ever decides to release an official Civil War Total War. So if you still have Empire at War installed on your computer, I recommend checking out American Civil War for its historical content, its much faster paced and deadlier battles, and really fantastic and authentic looking units and skins. So, this has been Joseph Bizarron of Stalin, signing off for now, 
and I hope you'll join us tomorrow for another mod, and until then, you guys take care.